Well, hey, my revivors, I am here to show you my pecan, walnut, whatever nut you choose, cookies, shortbread cookies. And all you're going to need is everything that you see here. Now, we have our 3 4 cup of powdered sugar, two cups of flour, one cup of butter, which if you didn't know, a half a stick of butter is, I mean, one stick of butter is a half a cup. So two sticks are one cup. We're going to need some vanilla and at least one teaspoon, but I usually put more than that. That's just me. I love the vanilla flavoring. And almond extract is a option. You don't have to have it, but I love putting that in my shortbread cookies. It just gives it another flavor. Then we have um, some nuts. These are pecans and walnuts that I just kind of post through my food processor. And that is at least a cup, but you can put as many as you want. And I have here, we're gonna use about a fourth teaspoon of salt. And that is everything. If I didn't say the sugar, I believe I did. Yeah, that is everything, guys. That is all you're going to need. And because this is gonna be a lot, I'm gonna be using my stand mixer and showing you how I create these cookies that are amazing. Now, I already have cookies in the oven, so we're gonna preheat the oven to 354 this recipe, but there's cookies in the oven, so it's already ready, all right? So let's get started, guys. So to your mixer, first you want to do is cream your butter and your sugar. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now, I don't normally do this, and if you've seen it on live, I didn't do this, but I've been doing this for so long, so I wanna just make sure I'm giving you the direction so you don't panic if something doesn't look right. So yeah, you wanna first cream your butter and your sugar. Now it's time to cream this. So now that we are creamed, we're going to cut this off and add our flour to this. And it's the same way if you were doing this um, with a hand mixer, trust me. I just like doing it because it's, it's a lot of dough and stuff with this. But te I technically used to use a hand mixer, so don't worry if you don't have a hand mixer, I mean a stand mixer. Use a hand mixer, it works just as fine, okay? And let's get the mixing. This. And this dough, as I said to you, is gonna be like a crumbly dough, and, but it'll all come together, I promise you. So what I like to do is stop it and get all of everything incorporated down in that bowl. One thing about this mixer is um, it doesn't really go so deep, so you gotta kinda help it sometimes. So yeah, this is what you want it to look like, all right? At this point, I would add my salt, my fourth teaspoon of salt, okay? I would also add my flavorings, my almond, and my vanilla. Trust me, it ain't gonna kill it, I promise you. And I also add my nuts. Not bad. <laughs> All right. And we're going to go back to mixing. Let me get this goodness off the spoon. Get that in that bowl. We want all the goodies to go in the bowl and not be wasted. All right. So let's continue mixing. Uh -oh. Let's continue mixing. And then it's gonna be time to roll our balls out, guys. I'm gonna let that mix and try to tidy up a bit. And basically, we are done. And cut this off. So you guys can see it. The dough is done. It is actually done. I'm gonna take my spoonula and get all that goodness off of here. Take this off. I'm still trying to learn this thing, y'all. It's so difficult. Hold on. All right, so we're gonna make sure everything is well incorporated and then we're gonna roll these balls up. And like I said, this is like a pecan, sandy cookie, shortbread cookie, very easy. And if you're vegan or something, I guess you can um, switch up the flour 
in the butter for whatever um, you use for your butter substitutes or flour substitutes as a vegan. But yeah, that is it. And let's roll these balls, guys. All right, so I have a cookie sheet with parchment paper on it. And I'm just gonna go in and grab some of the dough and I'm gonna roll it up nice and firmly. You wanna make sure you're compacting this. Roll it up nice and firmly. This usually makes about three um, dozen. So yeah, let's roll these up and I'll be back. I want you to have them rolled nice and uniform and it's time to put them in the oven. All right, they are done, let's take them out. And this is what you want a nice golden and when you pick them up you can tell they're done because they're more golden on the other side and it's time to put them in a cooling rack so as soon as they come out you want to put them on the cooling rack and let them cool okay so that's what I'm doing and I'll be right back all right so you want to let these cool for about 15 minutes 10 minutes I'll say about 10 minutes and put the um powdered sugar on them all right we are back and I have my container that I want to store my cookies in and I have my powdered sugar and this is so simple let me move one of these out of our way so that way you can see how I powder these cookies let's just set this one over here really quick I want to drop it all right so we have our cookies and it is so simple. You can let the kids do this guys, I'm so serious. You take take it, it's still kind of warm and you just dunk it in and you roll it around and get a nice coating. To me, if you let it cool a little while, it won't melt and get sticky and it gives it a nice coating. So I'm not gonna be doing double coat, but you can if you like, but let them cool for about five minutes in between. But this is what I'm doing, is coating them like so like that and my hands tend to um the heat from my hands tend to melt the powdered sugar so that's why i like to put something on my hands i don't normally but i found that it helps and it's better from not allowing the powdered sugar to melt on my hands and get the cookies all sticky so let me finish these and i'll be right back all right, they are done, they are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you make these for your family and if they enjoyed them, make sure you do it with your children to let them play and have something to do. This could be one of you guys' fun days, being that we're doing homeschooling, or you can use, like I said in the beginning of one of my videos, um, one of these cookie videos, I said you can use this as a way to do math and stuff like that with the kids. So I love you guys, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys later, Gators.